Hello, this is Arthur Hill with StockTarts.com. It is Friday, April 25th, and you're tuned into a video edition of the Mailbag. And today we're going to show you how to plot two different symbols using one price scale. So sometimes you run across two symbols that have similar price characteristics and you want to plot them using just one scale. Because if you plot them with different scales, even though the shapes of the actual lines or line plots are going to be the same, the actual relative levels are going to be different because they're not using the same scale. So you have something like the bullish percent indices, and those range from 0 to 100. And that makes them natural candidates to be plotted using the same scale, which would range from 0 to 100. Or interest rates, for example, you might want to plot using the same scale. And that way you can see the actual spread between, say, the 30-year Treasury yield and the 10-year Treasury yield. If you don't use the same scale, that spread would not be visible, or at least it wouldn't be correct, because you need the same scale to really get that visible. So let's look at an example using the bullish percent indices. So on this chart, I've got the bullish percent index for the consumer discretionary sector. And you can see here that the range is from around 45 to 82 and a half. And I want to add the bullish percent index for the energy sector. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to scroll down to the chart attributes section. And I'm going to go to the overlays and I'm going to add an overlay and it's going to be called price same scale. And you can see that the default is the S&P 500. So I'm going to need to change that to the symbol for the bullish percent index for the energy sector, which is dollar BPENER. I also want to differentiate that plot a little bit. And so I'm going to change the style to a dashed line and I'm going to change the color to green. And I'll hit update to refresh that chart and see the result. And voila, there we have it. You can see the energy bullish percent index in green and the consumer discretionary in black. And it's a solid line. And you can see that they followed each other. And the bullish percent index for the consumer discretionary SPDR was largely higher than the bullish percent index for the energy SPDR in January, February, and March. And then things changed there at the end of March when the energy BPI moved above the consumer discretionary BPI and moved higher throughout April, whereas the consumer discretionary BPI moved lower. So that tells you that strength was coming into the energy sector and was leaving the consumer discretionary sector. And if you're using a sector rotation strategy, then that would be very helpful to rotate out of consumer discretionary and into energy. All right, so you can do that for a lot of those bullish percent indices to compare them to see where the money is moving. I recommend you try that out. Thanks very much for tuning in and have a great day.